Well, what's going on guys? This is going to be a different type of video. Got me something pretty. Bachman Southern 4501 with a twist, y'all. This is going to be a little bit different because it's going to be interesting because this is going to be also an install. I can get it out of the box. This is, y'all, this is actually brand new. So this should be interesting. And it's a really good box. That is a really good box, y'all, and it's a very extremely tight fit. All right. HO282. It's a Makata with what this is. And all the normal paperwork. The warranty, which I probably will not send in. S, S and Espanol warranty. They usually have a diagram in here too. Yep, they do. Parts. Shows them all actually. So, looks like. If you notice, there's a speaker hole already built in. Pay attention to that, guys. There's a the hint. All the parts here also. Now, looks like. I have got wonder how it separates. Let's find out. The reason is I cheated. TCS Wow Steam built specifically for this engine. A Bachman Engines 282. So this is going directly inside of this. So this should be nice. This will be a nice little addition to my fleets. I wanted some more, more Southern steam engines. And when we got our stimulus in, I decided to help a hobby shop I use called y Yankee Dabbler. As you know, I am a huge, huge, huge fan of them. They have got some amazing stuff on their website. So I usually don't plug sites and stuff like that but I will plug them. Um, I've been buying from them successfully. Let's see if this pulls apart like the other ones do. But as I had said, I've been buying successfully from them for probably, I'd say, the past three years. I've been in this, I came back to the hobby a while back. All right. Get out my tools, y'all. Take this thing apart. Okay. Looks like we've got one screw here on the bottom. Culper box here. For the wires there. So it looks like I've just got one. Okay. Let's do this. And if you uh, hear my music in the background, sorry, I cannot work under can't have it be too quiet. I've, I've always been like that. It's just like I need another new precision sc screwdriver. This one of them is not working, but this one is, so that's a good thing. Let's hope the back pops off too. Yes, it does. There we go. Okay, that's for the lights. Right there. All right. Right there's my plug. Speaker mounts underneath. Man, they packed this up, dude. Oh boy. Looks like I might have to solder. This might be a shorter video than I thought, guys. 
Also, if I have to solder, I'll have to solder in the connections for the speaker. So I wasn't thinking that through. So that'll probably be another video. Not very good at soldering anyway. So that'll be its own separate video. Well, actually, to be honest, I probably won't do a video for that. Because, I, well, I'm not very good at soldering. <laughs> I'm still learning, guys. Let's take this out. Okay. Complete directions. Yep. Push the decoder onto the board with the cutter connector facing up. And if SD card is needed, facing down. Wow, guys. This is awesome. It even uh, shows... What to solder. Look at that. Man, that is awesome. They are so good to work with. My Southern Crescent is a TCS WOW thing as well. So it'll probably have the same uh, chuff as it. And probably a few other things as well. Now, looks as if the screws for this pop out and put the speaker underneath, bring the wires through, and solder the wires into the terminal. You can see them. There. And there. Oh, it actually showed you uh, in the directions what to solder. So, um, I'm still using my phone. So, I'll probably just solder, probably here in a few, I'll probably get the board hooked up, put the speaker in there, and have it ready to actually be soldered. Because I'll have to have a whole separate mat. It's the same mat I use to apply stuff and slice stuff. It's a, a self-healing. So, um... I'm going to end this on a really, 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 really nice note. Um, bear with me, I'm about to show my face. So, look away, guys. Um, I know I talk a lot about the house. Uh, I am 37 years old. I'm a father of two and a husband. Um, we live in a th uh, three-story apartment. And I've been trying to buy a home for the past year. Complete year. We found out yesterday, as soon as the repairs on the house were done, the house is ours. It's it's a go. It's actually ours. I've pushed for this and pushed for this. The, the money's there. It's set aside. It's mine. It's ready. Uh, the repairs hopefully should be done in two to three weeks. I have to have a, a, a re-inspection. And we had to, cl had to, cl had to closing. And then we sign, and it's ours. Uh, we're hoping probably by the end of May, it'll be, uh, I'll be in my home. It, uh, it has a basement, full basement, which my wife is, under, she's understanding. Uh, the basement is mine. It'll be train room slash a, uh, a den as well. I'll show that in time. Uh, extremely excited. Um, we're still not, 100% that there yet since we have to pass the inspection and head and sign everything We're 90% there. So it's a uh, it's it's ours. It's a, a blessing especially in this time right now guys I'm going to in the video on that uh, Shout out again Yankee dabbler there right now. They're running a special. I forgot the the the, the code for them I support them because they're uh, they're not my local business, but they're a small business. They're not like Hobby Town. They're it's an individual with two stores and sells on eBay. Awesome people. I love their one. Their website. Um, I Dan's Trains in Powell, Tennessee. It's my guy. Uh, he's two hours away from me, and they're getting set to reopen. And so Randy, buddy, 